Hi guys, I'm Jolly or Charlie Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do my June wrap up. And honestly, I haven't been reading much lately. I've only finished three books in the month of June, which is, which I don't think I have read less in like more than a year. But let's talk about these books. I'm not ashamed. I've been doing a lot of video gaming, watching a lot of cool TV shows, hanging out with my boyfriend. Like I have been busy. So again, let's talk about the books. I did manage to read. The first book is a book I can't show you but I will show it on screen because I borrowed it from the library and that was Rogue Lawyer by John Grisham. This is a standalone novel about a lawyer who doesn't do things the totally legal way which is kind of ironic I guess. But I really loved reading this. Honestly I think I added this one to my TBR over a year ago and then I deleted it because I thought I would never get around to it and I saw it at my library and I was like this is the month I am going to read this book and I did and I really really liked it which isn't that strange because I'll tell you why I added a random John Grisham book to my TBR without really reading anything by him um, before this. It's because I'm a law major in college and the title of this and the synopsis of this sounded so interesting to me so I picked it up and I absolutely loved seeing how the legal system in the United States works. Just seeing all these different cases that the lawyer in this book handled and how he dealt with them because I want to be a lawyer eventually, not like the rogue lawyer in this book, but I thought this was a super interesting perspective on it. How much this lawyer got involved with his different uh, with his clients. I thought it was so interesting. So overall I definitely enjoyed this book and I did and I do not regret picking this one up. Then the next book I managed to read in the month of June was The Art of Starving by Sam J. Miller. This was actually an e arc I got sent and it was the only e arc I had to read in the month of June and I did manage to read it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's about a gay teenage boy who is anorexic and I honestly did not like the, the way this book was written. It didn't do much for me. It didn't make me feel anything, especially the relationship in this. I felt like the guy, the main character fell in love with, just cared about sex and not really about the main character, which really bothered me. And also, I want to throw out all the trigger warnings here for, and for obviously eating disorders and especially anorexia because this was a very, very dark read. The main character eventually thinks he has superpowers, like he can hear everything, he's hallucinating. I, I think this could potentially be very triggering for people with eating disorders. I obviously don't have an eating disorder and this book was all about eating disorders, so I can't really judge how well the representation is. It didn't make me feel anything and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I think I rated only three stars. For the representation, especially the teenage boy eating disorder representation because we don't get that a lot and it was good to see a guy perspective but aside from that I wouldn't necessarily recommend this book to a lot of people. And the last book I read during the month of June was A Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. This is not the first book I've read by Morgan Matson. I've read since You've Been Gone, Amy Rogers' Epic Detour, The Unexpected Everything, and now I've read Second Chance Summer. This is supposed to be, I think, Morgan Matson's saddest novel, and I did not expect a lot from this, because the main character's dad is dying of cancer and they're spending his last summer at their old lake house they haven't been to in a few years. The main character reconnects with her childhood boyfriend and her childhood best friend, and I don't know why I didn't expect a lot from this, but because I've heard such good reviews of this, but when I read it, I was like, hmm, I don't think there is enough focus on the family aspect in this. Because you know how this is going to end. You know the main character's dad is going to die. And what happens in this is that you forget that he is dying at the end of the novel. Like, you see the main character dealing with all of her own problems aside from that, and her dad wanting to spend... Um, and her dad wants to spend time with his family but also wants to continue on with his own work while slowly de deteriorating. And that is so incredibly sad because at one point you just think, oh, he's actually going to die. And at the end of this novel, I was just sobbing. Like, I didn't notice how much I came to care for the main character and her family. And that was a really nice surprise for me that I actually really 
cared for these characters and what happened to them and how sad I felt for the main character that she had to lose her dad like that. At least she got to say goodbye, but still the way he had to go is so unfair. Also the font size in this is gigantic, like you can get through it so quickly, like it seems like a thick book but font size so, so quickly. Love the cover of this edition by the way and I gave it four stars, like I really enjoyed this. It might possibly be my favourite Morgan Matson novel so far. So this is my June wrap up already and I know this is like the shortest one I've done, I feel so weird, so weird right now. Anyway. I can't help it. These were all of the books I read in June. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you think about them or what books you did read in June. I would love to know. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!